Ron Hitler Brassie from Tism. We'll be taking you through the next three hours. We apologise straight away for our lateness. We were standing at the tram stop at the corner of Heatherton and uh, Springvale Road in South Springvale. Uh, we actually thought that the only way a Triple R DJ was able to get to Triple R was via a tram. And the tram at the corner of Heatherton Road and Springvale Road is quite inconsistent. Inconsistent to the point of non-existence. After a futile four hours waiting for that tram, we had to get into our Tiranas and come in all the way into the inner city. And I'm not sure if Triple R listeners know anything at all about the inner city. It's a strange beast. It's full of weird left-hand turns, strange rules when a tram is stopping, and lesbians. Triple R listeners, we are here to take you through three hours of heterosexual, non-lesbian, non-dance group, non-government funded Australian rock music. To start off we thought we'd play a bit of Died Pretty. Tism actually played with Died Pretty at the very first Livid Festival in Brisbane. Died Pretty at the time were a marvellous band with Ronnie Pino up front. I remember seeing him backstage with a beetroot red face and his slightly greying temples, exhausted and yet exhilarated by the power and glory that was Died Pretty's music. What I want to concentrate on, however, was the state of the toilets at the Livid Festival. Dante himself could not describe the sort of filthy ordure that permeated the air when one sat on that disgusting abattoir with the faecal matter splattered, almost coalescing in the air, one could feel the grainy, sweaty nature of that faecal stench deep inside one's innermost recesses. We will never play the Livid Festival again. The only reason for that is, tism are no good. Hello? Hello, are you there? Hello? No, no, come back. Come back. Oh, good. Hi, it's Humphrey B. Flaubert here. Um, you're actually listening to Mackenzie Theory. Now, can you believe that the lead guitarist of this band got a government grant? It's true. That's what this show's all about. Government grant music. Now... I know there's a lot of people out there who thought it was the Dirty Three and immediately got their coat and decided to go down to the pub. So we're left with a couple of listeners, but uh, nevertheless, I'll pursue. Tonight's show is uh, going to be probably pushing the boundaries somewhat of radio as we know, and we decided that uh, we get some really big guests in because this is an Australian music show and, uh, you know, it's time to showcase some of the greats of Australian music. So apart from playing some TISM, which we are contractually bound to do, uh, we're going to be talking to, uh, for instance, uh, Bernard Fanning from Powderfinger. Uh, we'll be chatting to Kylie Minogue. And hopefully Nick Cave will be popping in on his way to Brazil um, for a quick chat. So it's going to be an action-packed show, and I promise that at no stage during the course of this evening will I uh, speak uh, like uh, this enunciating uh, my words and I won't uh, say it's 25 to the hour of 7 which is what every other fucker on this station does okay fade up that Mackenzie theory please Humphrey um, Mackenzie theory um, mm. there's been a lot of good theories of course there's been Einstein's theory and Archimedes theory there was Marx's theory of capital, but I think you've uh, got probably the best theory in Oz Rock at the moment. Yeah, I reckon uh, calling your band something theory yeah. is just fantastic. You know, I, I reckon Shannon Knoll theory has a nice ring to it. Yeah, jet theory. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, I actually, you, uh, um, I actually saw this band live at my big sister's high school social. Now, can you imagine people trying to dance to this music? Well, they were. You were... Uh, you're an arcane man and uh, a 
a recondite, recondite um, connoisseur of the uh, subtle interlaces in the great kaleidoscope of uh, Osrock. Now, Mackenzie Theory obviously have been a great influence on you. Hmm. Um, what was Mackenzie's theory, theory's genre? Uh, well, I guess, you know, loosely, if you try to put it into sort of today's uh, terminology, it'd be <clears throat> your sort of new, your, your new, new progressive. Um, hmm. But really, it's, I think it's just great music to have a, a terrible punch-up to, you know? <laughs> because... <laughs> because it's true. When I, when I was young, I saw a lot of people had the shit beat out of <laughs> to, to Mackenzie uh, Theory. And it's an emotional thing for me. And, I, and I, am, I am getting quite emotional about it, so I think we should... <laughs> Whoa, rock and roll! Rock! That was marvellous, Humphrey. That was marvellous. Um... Mackenzie Theory, you can hear that applause still in the background. Um, the Mackenzie Theory, I mm. uh, I can see just like there's a new rock movement and rock and roll's back in. Do you think there could be a new Mackenzie Theory movement sweeping uh, Oz Rock? I think uh, the possibility is quite enticing, um, Ron. I think. Um you can judge by Rob's uh, later career moves after he got the government grant. Mm. He came back to Australia and unsuccessfully tried to uh, start a band called Mackenzie's Menthoids. <coughs> <laughs> Why can't I get to the end of a sentence without the emotion taking over? Uh, now, I think Australia wasn't ready at the time for Mackenzie's Menthoids, mm. but I think they are today. And it's a sad thing. Now, <laughs> Look, Humphrey. Yes, we've got um, some famous people coming in. Yes, no, that's right. I don't <laughs> think we've got. Uh, <laughs> <Mr. McKinney. laughs> right. Here's here's the list. Yeah. Uh, we're starting tonight with um, a chap called Bernard Fanning. He's oh, a very yes. nice man, apparently, yeah. mm. and he is the lead singer of Powderfinger, and he's extremely rich. When, when's he coming in? I think he's coming in shortly, and mm. it's time for us to play a track, which is mm. uh, a very famous track of theirs. Mm. Um, J just before you do, Humphrey, and yes. the, the other people coming in, because I'm not sure if in the middle of that Mackenzie Theory uh, frenzy, um, people would have got your, uh, your 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 list there. So, mm. what, what el who else is coming in tonight between now and ten o'clock? Well, we're hoping uh, to talk to Kylie Minogue, yep. uh, Nick Cave, it goes without saying, and uh, Philip Ruddock should mm -hmm. be popping in. Right. And, um, mm. you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mm. mean, celebrities come and go here at Triple R, as you know. Mm. Um, I believe that... Um, Unlike you know, this carpet that's been here for years. Well, that's right. Mm. Frank Vitkovich should be popping in later on. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's in the lift at the moment. But, uh, so, you know, it's going to be a celebrity stack night, and if we just keep, you know, bursting into tears at the thought of Mackenzie Theory, well, we're not going to get anywhere. So uh, I think it's time to mm. play uh, this very, very, this seminal Powderfinger track. Mm -hmm. um, stand by, listeners, because... And coming out of this, we'll, we'll talk to Mr. Well, uh, we will. We'll be Mr. talking Fanning. to Bernard Fanning, who uh, is arriving as we speak uh, in the limousine. Mm. He's just finishing um, off that, that hooker. That's right, yeah. He's a very big fan of rugby. So over to uh, Powderfinger now. I want you to enjoy this. 